Hello everyone. Now let us discuss about International Council for Harmonization. And in the current session, we will be focusing on the quality guidelines. So what is ICH? International Council for Harmonization. Unique Harmonization Initiative for the Regulators and Pharmaceutical Industry. It was originally founded in 1990 April and it was reformed as a non-profit legal entity under Swiss law on 23rd October 2015. So what are ICH guidelines? The International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. This is the complete abbreviation. ICH means International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use is a project that brings together the regulatory authorities of Europe, Japan and United States and the experts from the pharmaceutical industry in these three regions to discuss the scientific and technical aspects related to pharmaceuticals. What is the purpose of ICH? The main purpose of ICH is the promotion of public health. The promotion of public health through international harmonization that contributes for the first point is prevention of unnecessary duplication of clinical trials and post market clinical evaluations. Next one is development and manufacturing of new medicines while maintaining safeguards on the quality, safety, efficacy and regulatory obligations to protect the public health. Finally, reduction of unnecessary animal testing without compromising the safety and effectiveness. These are some of the main objectives or the purpose of ICH. Now, there are broadly four categories in the ICH guidelines. The ICH topics are divided into four categories and the ICH topic codes are assigned accordingly to these categories. That is QSEM. Q is for quality. Q stands for quality guidelines. S stands for safety guidelines. E stands for efficacy guidelines and M stands for multidisciplinary guidelines. These are the main four categories in which ICH will provide guidelines. Quality, safety, efficacy and multidisciplinary QSEM. In the current session, we will be focusing on the quality guidelines. So what are quality guidelines? The harmonization achievements in the quality area include pivotal milestones such as the conduct of stability studies, defining relevant thresholds for impurity testing and more flexible approach to pharmaceutical quality based on good manufacturing practice GMP, good manufacturing practice risk management. These are some of the objectives of quality guidelines. First one is conduction of stability studies and the next next one is defining relevant thresholds or the limits for impurities and a more flexible approach to pharmaceutical quality based on good manufacturing practice risk management GMP risk management. So in total there are 14 guidelines in case of quality guidelines from Q1 to Q14. So Q1 is again further subcategorized as Q1A to 1F. It mainly focuses on the stability. The next guideline is Q2. It focuses on the analytical validation, analytical method validation. Next one is Q3. It is subcategorized as Q3A to Q3E. It focuses on impurities. The next one is Q4A to Q4B. It focuses on pharmacopias and Q5A to Q5E. It focuses on quality of biological, biotechnological products. Next one is Q6A to Q6B. It focuses on specifications. And finally, from Q7 to 14, we will be discussing in the end of the session. So first of all, coming to stability.
स्टेबिलिटी गाइडलाइंस आईसीएच क्यू वन ए टू क्यू वन एफ स्टेबिलिटी गाइडलाइंस द फर्दर सब क्लासिफिकेशन और सब कैटेगरीज आर क्यू वन ए आर टू आर मेनली इंडिकेट्स रिवीजन रिवीजन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल गाइडलाइन so q1 a r2 it deals with stability testing of new drug substances and products whereas q1 b it deals with stability testing especially photo stability testing of new drug substances and products photo stability study or photo stability testing is governed by q1 b guidelines next q1c it deals with stability testing for new dosage forms and q1d it deals with bracketing and matrixing designs for stability testing of new drug substances and products q1e it mainly focuses on the evaluation for stability data and q1f it focuses on stability data package for registration application in climate zones 3 and 4 Q1F it mainly deals with stability of stability data of package for registration application in climatic zones 3 and 4 The next one is Q2 it mainly focuses on analytical validation and Q2R1 it is subcategorized as Q2R1 it deals with validation of analytical procedures the text and methodology and the next one is Q2R2 or Q14 EWG it focuses on analytical procedure development and revision of Q2R1 analytical validation R2 is the second revision so revision of Q2R1 of analytical validation the next one is Q3 it Q3A to Q3E it focuses on impurities the sub categories are Q3AR2 it focuses on the impurities in new drug substances Q3BR2 it focuses on impurities in new drug products you have to know the difference between what is drug substance and what is drug product and Q3CR6 it deals with maintenance of the guidelines for residual solvents the next one is Q3CR8 maintenance cwg that deals with maintenance of the guidelines for residual solvents and q3dr1 it deals with guidelines for elemental impurities and q3dr2 it deals with revision of q3dr1 for cutaneous and transdermal products next one is q3d training it deals with implementation of guidelines for elemental impurities and q3 finally q3e ewg it deals with impurity assessment and control of extractables and leachables for pharmaceuticals and biologicals the next one is ich qa4 q4a to q4b it mainly deals with pharmacopoeia pharmacopoeial harmonization q4a deals with pharmacopoeial harmonization and q4b it deals with evaluation and recommendation of pharmacopoeial text for the use in ich regions and the next one is q5a to q5b the q5 mainly deals with quality of biotechnological products and the sub categories are Q5A R1 it deals with the viral safety evaluation of biotechnological products derived from the cell lines of human or animal origin the next one is Q5A R2 EWG it deals with viral safety evaluation of biotechnological products biotechnology products derived from the cell lines of human or animal origin and Q5B it deals with the quality of biotechnological products mainly analysis of the expre expression construct in cells used for the production of rdna derived protein products and q5c it deals with quality uh, it deals with the stability testing of biotechnological or biological products 
and Q5D deals with derivation and characterization of cell substrates used for the production of biotechnological or biological products. And Q5E, it deals with comparability of the biotechnological or biological products subject to changes in their manufacturing process. And fine, next guideline is Q6A to Q6B specifications. It mainly deals with specifications. So first of all, Q6A, it deals with specifications on test procedures and acceptance criteria for new drug substances and new drug products. That is nothing but chemical substances. And Q6B deals with specifications for test procedures and acceptance criteria for biotechnological or biological products. So Q6B deals with biotechnological or biological products and Q6A deals with specifications for test procedures and acceptance criteria for new drug substances and new drug products. And finally, from Q7, to Q12 and 13 and 14 on the next slide. So first of all, what is Q7? It deals with good manufacturing practice for API. So GMP guidelines of ICH guidelines related to GMP are given in Q7. And Q8 deals with pharmaceutical development. Q9 deals with quality risk management, QRM. And Q10 deals with pharmaceutical quality system, PQS. And Q11 deals with development and manufacture of drug substance, DMDS. And Q12, it deals with technical and regulatory considerations for pharmaceutical product life cycle management. And the next, finally, Q13 and 14. Q13, it deals with continuous manufacturing for drug substances and drug products. And Q14 deals with analytical procedure development and revision of Q2R1 analytical validation. Q14 mainly deals with analytical procedure development, whereas analytical validation is done by QA. And it also, Q14 also deals with revision of Q2R1 analytical validation. By this, we complete the quality guidelines. A brief note of quality guidelines, ICH quality guidelines. Thank you.